Here at LMN, we're proud to announce our first update of 2018, and it's a big one. It's chock full of requests that you users have made over the past zero to six months that we've now baked into the software, tested, and are ready to release to the masses. In this video, we'll just take a quick dive through those features that we've released, but don't worry, in our help center, you're gonna find lots more videos and articles on exactly how to use these features. We started our improvements with estimating, and the biggest request you guys have been making is better reporting, so we built it. We took out the old reporting engine, although it's still here for those who like the old way, and we made a new one. Now under the print reports menu, you're gonna see a lot less reports for your estimates, but each report has a whole lot more options. Now you can choose exactly what you wanna show or hide to your customers and crews when you print a report. Once you get the options that you like, simply check this box down here to save those options so that each time you come back here, it'll always remember the options that you like to show so you don't have to change it every time. Now one of the other things you asked for is a preview window, so that's now here, and much better exports to Word and Excel, and we've done that as well. Once you export your estimate to Word now, you'll see it's formatted a lot more like the PDF that comes out with proper shading and details. And of course, to change something or insert an image, just start typing. Another thing you asked for in your reports was the ability to upload your signature, so we put that in as well. Now you can upload your signature into LMN in a new menu called Report Settings. You'll find it here under Account and Report Settings, only for users that have access to estimating, of course. I can upload my signature, my name, and my email so that when I print a proposal for my client, that all comes out at the bottom. Now, some of the other big changes to estimating include the way work area templates and production rate calculators are handled. You wanted us to remember the measurements that you put in there when you originally measured the way or mowing area or whatever. So we've done that. Now, if you open up a work area where you used a work area template, your calculator still load. And if I click one of these calculators, it'll show me the measurement I entered when I first made the estimate. Now, this will only work for new estimates going forward, but it'll work for that forever from now on. Another thing people asked for was the ability to make negative quantities on things in case you want to make a credit for your customer. No problem. Just enter a negative in the quantity, and now that line item becomes a credit, something you can print to a customer to show them that you've credited for those items. Another request was the ability to hold or unhold all items. So now you can click this little eye up here. It'll put all your items on hold, or if I click it again, take them all off hold. Now, another big thing was service estimates and the work at the beginning of the year to sort of renew all our service estimates for, in some cases, hundreds or even thousands of clients. Now you can tick the service estimates you wanna review, then go up here and go update estimates and go renew. That'll take your estimates from last year and allow you to change your budget, set a new status, change salespeople and estimator if you want, but more importantly, change the year and even update your pricing by a fixed percentage. So if I wanted to renew an estimate but up my prices by 2%, I can easily say change estimate price by 2%. And when it renews those estimates, it'll update the last year's prices by 2%. Once you're ready, you click OK, and all those estimates can get copied. So you can create hundreds of estimates from renewals in just minutes. And another big change was to the Estimate Excel report. Now, not a lot of people know about this report, but it's a pretty awesome one. On your standard and service estimates, there's an Excel button here. Click that. It'll generate an Excel spreadsheet with all kinds of statistics about your reports. Now, we've added a couple of new fields to this Excel report to make it even better than it was in the past, especially the ability to filter out archived or estimates where you flagged it to exclude the statistics. There's also confidence level and predicted sales so that you can take your estimated price, multiply it by your confidence level to get a forecast of what you're selling or what you've sold up to this year. Now we've also made some changes to CRM. And these changes are a little more subtle, but they're effective. First, you wanted to be able to have a more powerful search. So the search now searches for your primary and your secondary contacts. So for instance, if I type in a phone number, it'll return any contacts that have somebody, any contact with the phone number 444 in their name. And the other thing here is under the to-dos menu, you're gonna notice that there's more views. You can see all complete or all incomplete to-dos. Now those changes were just for estimating, but we've launched a whole bunch of new changes for LMN time too. In fact, even more, particularly around scheduling and invoicing, as that's where most of our requests were coming from. We made scheduling faster and easier. And same with invoicing. Let's take a look at some of those improvements now. 
If I start from scheduling right from the whiteboard, we added a new tool down here called Edit Schedule. Now I can take an entire schedule for a crew on a whiteboard and either move it to a different crew, change the date, or delete all the visits all at once. And even better, you can use the status of the visit as well. So if I just want to move the incomplete visits or the ones that didn't get finished, it's just as easy. We've improved the speed and performance of the calendar view by over 30% and also added the same edit functionality on the schedule review screen. So I can bring up lists of my visits, multi-select these lists, and then go down here to click the edit schedule and do the same thing like changing status, assigning new crews, changing date, or deleting visits, making it easier to move batches of visits all at once on my schedule. Now for some of the big new stuff. We've introduced a new tool called bulk scheduling. Bulk scheduling allows me to schedule a whole bunch of jobs at once and even better from a map. For instance here, I can go look on this map to find all my jobs with a specific service. Here I've clicked early summer. When I'm ready to select an area for scheduling, I simply click this tool on the map and I start drawing an area around the sites we want to hit. Down here you go to select and then now we're going to go schedule and we can schedule all these jobs at once without going in one at a time. Also cool. We've added a new tool on the wait list because it was harder to schedule visits like fertilization, cleanups, and irrigation that didn't have a hard date. Wait list allows you to set a date range. So starting on this date, needing to be complete sometime before this date. So from that bulk scheduling tool, I can also add jobs to a wait list. Then as they come due, use my wait list list to see what jobs are upcoming, overdue, or close to due. Again, by service type. So once I pick my service type, now I can select jobs and say promote to schedule and we can schedule these waitlist items for a specific date and a specific crew when they're ready to be scheduled. Some big changes when it comes to invoicing too. Lots of people had said they wish their list of services were smaller for crews. Now we made it easy to hide or show services when their seasons are appropriate. For instance, let's say it's getting the beginning of the year. We don't want to show our fall cleanups right now. Simply go to fall cleanup say update all jobs and say hide from timesheets. This will hide that service from all my jobs until the fall hits of course when I'll do the opposite. When fall hits I'll go update all jobs, show on timesheets and now my fall cleanups will show up again making it easier to hide and show things to my crews only when they're seasonally relevant. We also made it a lot easier to fix crew mistakes when you're invoicing. Let's take a look at this job here and let's say the crew didn't finish the spring cleanup yet but they have marked it as complete. Simply go over here to the View button and then go Edit Services. That'll take you right back to the crew's timesheet. Here I can unselect Spring Cleanup and select what they did do or leave it unselected if it didn't get done and click Update. Not only will that change my invoice, but it'll actually change the crew's timesheet so we'll never make that mistake again. But I don't have to go all the way back to the timesheet to fix their mistake. Makes it a lot easier to fix crew mistakes here. We've also added the ability to change the date for a bunch of invoices at once by looking at your invoice list and going down here to change date. And we've added a new status for invoicing called closed. Some users who want to track closed as paid, although we recommend you do that in accounting, now you can do it in LMN. Simply approve an invoice when it's ready and then when it's been paid, mark it as closed. And now you'll be able to pull a list of your invoices that are closed. Lots of people ask for more staff permissions, so we've added that as well. LMN Time Admins now have more permissions that you can set, including timesheet approval, access to scheduling, access to adding and managing jobs and staff, changing your settings, and more. And finally, one of our latest reports includes a FERT ticket. You'll find that under the Reports Other menu. Now you can generate FERT and chemical tickets for your applications. They're meant to be printed on perforated paper, and they're a leave behind and a record for your office. And they're in there's over 30 new features and edits and enhancements to our latest update, and you'll find all these and their instructions at www.golmn.com slash update.